In this video I'm going to show you how to set up a free tuner in your Reaper session. After that I'll also show you how to embed it into one of your channels for extra convenience. Okay, so adding Retuner is actually really simple. So I've got a new Reaper session here with a channel that's been added and I'm going to click on the effects button here and then in all plugins I'm going to click on the filter and type in Tuner. And uh, the results here you can see I've got a few different ones but the one I want to use today is called Retune. So now when you see when that opens it will start picking up the guitar and is picking up some notes but there's some things we can do to make it a little more responsive. So I'm gonna change the window size to 200 milliseconds and then overlap times eight. So now it should be working as a nice tuner. So I'm just quickly up Make sure it, oh. And make sure I'm in tune. So I can take it one step further and right click on the effect and go down to show embedded UI in TCP. What that's gonna do is put the user interface on my channel strip here. And if I drag that down, I can now see the tuner in my channel. So now between takes, I can quickly check my tuning and make sure that everything is as it should be. One additional step I can take after this, if I've got a few different tracks open and I wanna resize them, I'm gonna find that eventually my tuner track is gonna get really small. So what I can do instead is drag it to the size I want and then right click in the gray area there and lock the track height. So now when I'm shrinking and growing the other ones, that one will stay the same size and I can still see my tuner. The great way to use this is to have the tuner channel be your bus and then drag your other guitar channels into that. So you can see there, now that's indented those two. I can pan one hard left and one hard right. And as I do my takes, just bring them down from this master channel and put the takes into the left and right channels there. Thanks for watching, hopefully you found that video useful. If you did, then do hit the thumbs up button. And to see more videos like this, then hit subscribe with notifications on, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye bye.